hello, hello, hello. I am back to share another smoothie that I um, make from time to time um, with you all. Um, and this will be my banana blueberry smoothie. And it's very good. Um, you can add whatever ingredients you like with it. Um, again, I didn't know if the volume was down. Um, and if you can hear me, I am here to share my blueberry, uh, my banana blueberry smoothie. Um, the main ingredients is going to be, I guess, bananas. Um, so you can put any ingredients that you like in it. But I'm going to be using bananas. So I have about four bananas cut up in here. And you want to make sure that the bananas are ripe. And that you're not using the bad bananas to make these smoothies with. Okay. So I'm going to put the bananas up in here. I think I need to take the picture down. So. <laughs> So it's going to be the bananas, and then um, I have some Greek yogurt. This is a uh, triple cream vanilla bean Greek yogurt, and I get this at uh, Walmart, and it's very good. Okay, and then I have some Almond Breeze uh, vanilla. Uh, almond milk, almond breeze, um, vanilla almond milk, and of course, I have some dull blueberries. Okay, and I might try just a little bit of vanilla flavor in it. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so let's go here. I do not own any rights to any music that you may hear in the background. Okay, so I am going to put about a half a cup of, just to get it started, you can decide how much milk you would like to use or juices or whatever you're using. So, but I'm going to start with about a half a cup of almond milk. And you can put oats oatmeal in here or whatever grains that you would like oh, I have one other ingredient excuse me and I have been using I'm sorry I knew it was one ingredient I was missing, but I wasn't for sure what it was. And it will be my flaxseed. Just a very little bit of flaxseed. Ground flaxseed. And flaxseeds are good for um, a lot of things. Uh, keeping help, keeping you regulated. Uh, even hormonal issues that some women may have. Um while going through the menopausal phase you can use a little flax seeds mix it in with with your uh, food uh, smoothies drinks whatever it is that you're eating you can mix flax seed in. okay now look I'm a dumper so I'm not gonna measure this uh, I guess it'd be about a, a fourth cup. I'll just put a half a cup. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to measure it, but maybe I'll just put a half a cup of this um, Greek yogurt in. So you can see. Half a cup. Okay, that's a half a cup. And here we go. Into the picture. Sorry to get it, make it all this banging noise, but I'm going to make sure I get all the ingredients in. 
every bit of what I'm using in there. Okay. Now I'm going to use about a cup of blueberries. You have to even have something frozen, so I'm going to use blueberries today. Um, you can use ice and some, <clears throat> excuse me, and a lot of the other smoothies that I make, I use like frozen fruit. Uh, I love fruit, fruit, I mean, excuse me, getting a little tongue tied here. Fruit, okay, so blueberries are very good. So I'm going to put about a half a cup of blueberries. Uh, I think I better use a, a cup. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a small smoothie, but I guess it's going to be a little bit bigger because we need the, the ice to help kind of thicken it up a little bit. And if so happen I need any more smoothies, I mean, excuse me, if I need any more blueberries, I'm going to just put it over there. Okay. And I'm going to use about a teaspoon of this flaxseed. This is ground flaxseed. It's best to buy it grounded because it's more easier to consume, okay? And to mix up in different uh, dishes that you may be making. And if you see, it's a blueberry smoothie or some type of smoothie that they, um, that is made here. And it's on this uh, back and it's a cold it's a cold meal this grounded flax ground flaxseed cold meal okay so I'm gonna use about a teaspoon one teaspoon that should be good okay you can use as much as you like but I'm just gonna choose choose a teaspoon of flaxseed Okay, and just a little bit of per, excuse me, I have some new partials in, <laughs> so it's kind of making me get my words twisted up here, uh, pure, pure vanilla extract. I'm just going to use about a fourth of a teaspoon of this. I don't want a lot of it, because I don't want to have to... Uh, Put, uh, I might have to put a little of my uh, agave, organic agave. So we got a fourth teaspoon. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but we're going to put that right there. And we got a fourth that's going in. This is just to help to give it a little more flavor and make it taste a little tasty. Okay, so let's see. And if so happen you have to use any sweeteners or anything, uh, this is the Mad Mad Hava Organic Light Agave. You can use as much as you want. I use very little bit of this because it does get have a tendency to be get very sweet very quick. So I'm not going to use this until I taste the uh, smoothie and see how it, it turns out. Okay, again. So we're going to put it up here. I pray that you all are having a wonderful day. Okay, so here we go. Smoothie.
looks very good. And again, the main ingredients uh, in, in this uh, smoothie is bananas. I have more bananas um, in this uh, smoothie than I have blueberries. I added the blueberries because I didn't have any ice. So I will be back uh, to share my plain banana smoothie. Um, as soon as I give me some ice. <laughs> Because I usually don't keep too much ice in the freezer. Because um, I don't really use a lot of ice. So um, I guess I'm going to have to invest in me some ice. A bag of ice, that is. A small bag. Okay, let me just blend this up a little more. <laughs> the blueberry banana smoothie as you, if you can see it I don't know if the screen got too much light I gotta get some lighting I'm new with this recording and whatever so I'm trying to learn how to get the light adjusted so here is the banana blueberry smoothie let's see what the texture is oh might have to stir it up, stir it up a little bit. There you go. It's a little, it's a little runny, but you can make it how thick as you thick you want it to be. Uh, again, this is a banana blueberry smoothie. banana blueberry okay so let's try it out oh it's not too bad yeah. it doesn't look too too thin might be just right okay this is really good you don't even need agave. Mm. This is very, very good. You must try this. Okay? Blue bananas. Blueberries. Uh, a fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay? And I think I did a half a cup of almond milk, vanilla almond milk. And I did, I believe, about a, f a half a cup, uh, a half a cup of the uh, vanilla bean uh, Greek yogurt. And a fourth, I think I did, and um, I did... Um, excuse me, a fourth teaspoon of flaxseed. <coughs> excuse me, a fourth teaspoon of flaxseed. Okay. I think that might be it far as the ingredients that I use. I'm just making sure I didn't forget anything. But I do believe that is it. I'll say it again. Bananas. Blueberries, flaxseed, vanilla flavor, Greek yogurt, uh, and almond milk. You can even add oatmeal to this, but I had oats earlier, so I won't even mess with the oats right now. <laughs> so, again, you must try this. This is very, very good. Until next time, peace. Have a blessed and wonderful weekend. Be safe.